hi 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 everyone how you doing how's your day going hope you're having a good day or if you're in nigeria hi sierra fabric store thank you thank you guys if you can hear me please tell me where you're watching from i always like to know where my clients are watching from tell me where you're watching from been a while i did a live video so today i want to do I want to go live. Thank you, Goddess Tammy. She says I look beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate you. Tonight, I want to talk about the mind. How to use your mind. yeah so let's go if you can hear me please tell me oh hi queen j uh i guess you're a lady she says hello coach i'm watching from river state Port thank you how is Port Harcourt today that's one city i've never been in nigeria you know i should somebody should invite me to ph now let me go there now let me go and eat their body and fish you know so invite me to come and speak in your church or, or your program or your event, you know. I'm willing, no. There are some cities I've not been to in Nigeria, you know. And I like to go there. Yeah. So, let's talk about how to use your mind to attract your greatest desire. I know a lot of people have some desire right now. Ah, Queen J says that the Bole Festival just finished yesterday, sadly. Don't worry, another time now. Another time. Maybe I'll come to Podacot one of these days, you know. I need to come to Podacot, you know. I've not been to Podacot. That's, that's like one of the, you know, important cities in Nigeria. <laughs> like, you know how they say Lagos? Abuja, Port Harcourt. I've been to Lagos. Of course, I live in Lagos. I've lived in Abuja, you know. And but Port Harcourt, I've not been in. By the way, I'm, I'm ah, thank you. I I feel myself for oh, this makeup. Hey, Tiffany, baby, the makeup is makeup, you know. Ah, uh ah, -uh. even me, I'm feeling myself. Okay, so that's my makeup artist, oh, Tiffany. Tiffany of life. That's my daughter, by the way. She's my makeup artist whenever she's not in school. So, uh, <laughs> no, collect your flowers. Collect your flowers. I like this. I, I like the lipstick, by the way. You know, why don't you do this type for me all the time? You be doing whatever. <laughs> so, guys, let's talk about how you use your mind to attract your greatest desire you know people ask me how you know I've been able to you know achieve all the things I've achieved like my business is doing pretty well I won't lie at the moment my business is doing pretty pretty well um, yeah I got married again <laughs> thank you thank you you're welcome I got married again recently you know after um, all my life's up downturns, you know, um, my health, you know, and so many other things, money, all those things that I've ever wanted. The things that, you know, when they say, when you see some tweets that said, that says that those things you prayed for, um, yeah, Ciara Fabric Store. Oh, really? Congratulations to which one? <laughs> which one you know because i mentioned a few things now you know but i'm so tell me which one are you congratulating me for so that i can answer you very well you know so and um you know that tweet that where people say um the things you are enjoying today or the things you have today 
Marriage, yes. I got married for the second time. Yes, in April. Thank you, Sierra. Far big stuff. You know how people will say the things that, you know, you are enjoying, some of the things you are enjoying today, they were your prayer points before now. I will not lie to you. That That's me. You know, different aspects of my life. The life I want to live, you know. I still want more. <laughs> I'm still not yet where I want to exactly be, but I'm no longer where I used to be, and I'm very, very grateful for that. You know, so how did i get these things people always ask me and i tell them especially marriage because people say you know coach lara you know your story having a child at 19 14 heartbreaks 15 abortions a divorce um you know two kids for two different men how do you achieve or get married again for instance how do you attract the type of man that you want that you now got married to and i tell them it's the mind people don't understand this people do not understand this but this is why i want to teach you in the school of the mind that is my deepest course ever greatest therapy course ever how do you attract your greatest desire number one way to use your mind to attract your greatest desire is to heal from your trauma and what helps you heal from it why you have to heal is because for you for your mind to work properly you have to remove all the pain all the previous trauma responses that you've had all the you know bitterness all the unforgiveness all the um anger outbursts neediness you get all oh, use your negative thoughts that is always disturbing you that is always frustrating you that will not make you commit to people that would always make you think terrible all those things you need to heal from them first which is why you have to attend the healing school first you need to heal you need to because if you don't remove all those terrible thoughts from your mind you know it's, you cannot you cannot succeed when you are always thinking wrong hey dummy how you doing long time baby because you're always thinking negative you're always thinking wrong you're always thinking terrible terrible you're always thinking ah what if they scam me now what if this one rape me now what if this one you know break my heart now what if this one dupe me now what if this thing doesn't work negative thoughts negative thoughts they are your greatest enemy you know to attracting the desire of your life the more you think negative the more you would um the more you think negative the more you are spoiling your prayers the more you are spoiling your prayer the more your life will begin to go down and you are telling yourself, no, 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 no. I'm just being smart. You know, I don't, ah, Lara, you have to, hey, with what they have showed me in this country, you have to be smart about these things. You have to know what you are doing. It's not true. You are hurting yourself. A lot of you, the reason why you cannot commit is because you have trust issues. So negative thoughts are things that go against your life. You know, it goes against, it's, it's going to make you frustrate it's going to frustrate your desire. You won't get it. Number one, negative thoughts will make you not attract what you want. Will make you not get what you want. If you just wake up and all you are thinking, you know why? Because thoughts are powerful. Thoughts are prayers. Your thoughts are your prayers. The more people think that prayer is only when you close your eyes and then use your mouth, Father, Holy Spirit, yeah, blah 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 blah. That's not the only time you pray. Your thoughts are your prayers, your thoughts are prayers. What you think about is what you will get. If you check your life today, most of the things you are going through are the things that have crossed your mind that you have developed your that you have that you dwelt on. So people don't understand this thing. 
the more you think about the negative the more it's going to happen in your life the more people don't get it like it's, it's lara how do you control that you know yeah i think you blue i says yes ma the more you think about the more you think negative the more your life will go like this i'm telling you you know this is my job and i've been doing this for 11 years you know but the reason why you have negative thoughts is trauma response the reason why you have negative thoughts is that's your area that's where they born you your house your home you people are always you know you think negative in your house negative things happen a lot to people around you so that's what you are used to you're not used to things going normally no you know so you are or another reason why you think negative thoughts is maybe your personality you're just you know if you're a melancholy and probably maybe a choleric or phlegmatic too if you're a melancholy mostly you you cannot have um sierra fabric sources you cannot have a positive life and a negative mind no it's not possible so if you're a melancholy and you're listening to me it, it is natural that you would always think negative negative mindset or a melancholy you know thinks negative naturally because they are always very careful they don't um jump into things like that so i think page gloria says most things i think about while growing up are what i see happening in my life today i've always wanted to stand stand out and it happened to me bam i'm telling you people don't understand these things if when you were younger you're always thinking ha man who will marry me like this this is my marriage will my marriage stay will i hey will any man want me like this will any woman be able to stay with me it's going to happen to you what if my boyfriend dies what if my this thing i'm telling you people do not know this thing but me i have come to tell you that you cannot continue to have negative thoughts and expect your life to move forward it's not possible never not possible you know your thoughts are prayers. Your thoughts are prayers. What you think about, especially because thoughts are energies. You are, they are energy. So, you know, what if my husband cheat on me? It's going to happen. You'll be wondering, uh -uh, I said it. I thought about it. I know it. You see, my spirit was telling me. It's not your spirit. It's your trauma. Your trauma response is what is making you think negative. The more negative you think, the more your life will go backwards. The more negative you think, the more things will happen. You know? So, this happens if you're melancholy. You are at the risk of negative mindset. You know? Because melancholies are pessimistic in nature. They are pessimistic in nature. They don't... They're very... They're not really optimists. They're not natural optimists. Melancholies fall into depressions a lot. The most safe you know so and the reason is because of their mind because they are they are not optimists they are pessimists whenever anything happens if you have a melancholy friend you have a melancholy family member you have melancholy anybody around you if anything positive if the melancholy is the one that will first say ha are you sure be careful though. what if this happens what if this happens adequate gloria says when i graduated with third class i told myself i was going to enjoy what first class is enjoying and exactly it was you see what i mean you see what I mean? Your mindset, guys, your mindset. If you don't have a good mindset, you will not get what you want. Hi, sweetie. Health, health. Third. Ah, you know, I don't, always, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I, I follow you. I watch your videos all the time. Health, entertainer. Health, entertainer. Okay, I get it. I see what you do. I see what you're doing there, health, entertainer. I've never tried to pronounce it, but I thought, go. I watch most of your videos. Thank you for joining. So your mindset is very, 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 very important. Very, very important. Especially, let me come to the dating industry in Nigeria right now. If you read a lot of Insta blog, you read Gis Lover, you read so many, you know. Thank you. You read so many other, all those blogs, you will see that negativity is what is around every day, everywhere. Men scamming women, women cheating, you know, men, um, um, uh, men sleeping with 
you know that's it that's it that's it Elthathena says my mind is my god i'm telling you and people don't understand it you see i have i have been through so much pain in my life so much you have no idea i have been suicidal i have been everything but the moment i fixed my mind <laughs> nothing was able to penetrate it again my mind if you have lost lost your mind you have lost everything if you have allowed pain sadness depression uh breakups heartbreak uh kinikan allowed it to penetrate your mind you are finished though my brother my sister you are finished like your life will just going keep going like this you'll be wondering oh, are they doing me what happened what did that your life will just keep going this way so take care of your mind and how do you take care of it remove all these things negative thoughts what if this happens to me what if my life does not end well what if this guy breaks up with me what if this one happens to me what if this one what if my life what if please stop it stop it so that you can move forward and one of the ways to you know have a positive mindset is to remove yeah, Health Athena says, once you lose your mind, you begin to lose the will to live. <laughs> I think I joined this live video. That's it. You lose the will to live. You lose the will to succeed. You lose, lose the will to fall in love. You lose the will to do good, to be good, to be great. That is why you have to protect your mind at all costs. If you're a Christian, the Bible says that um, protect your mind, guard your heart with all diligence. For, how, for out of it flows the issues of life. Your mind is powerful. It's a powerful tool in your body. If you don't guard it, everything you are watching, Insta blog every day, that's another way why you are not attracting what you want. Insta blog, you are, you are, um, what do you call it now? You are assimilating it, absorbing it. Hey! They are broken this one. Hey, man, no. Oh, God. Jis lover. Ha! This man, no. He killed this one again. Hey, Ayele, oh. Hey, this world, oh. Be careful of men, no. Never rely too much on men, no. You're feeding your mind with negativity. Negativity. You will never see me. Any blog. See me be commenting. Ah, ooh, hey, did get never. You have to protect your mind. There's so much in this world today, so much that is designed to frustrate your mind. So Sierra Fabric Store says, I keep telling people that the mind is a battlefield. Fight those tough things in the mind first and watch the physical manifestation. Control what happens there and don't let negativity infiltrate it. When I was praying to get married, I wanted to get married. You will not see me go on and say, men has come. Men will stay in your white. Ah, men, oh, be careful, oh. You won't see me do that. Because that goes against what I want. That goes against what I'm praying for. I, I, I started following pages that looks like what I want, that preaches what I want. In fact... If you check my page on Instagram, oh my goodness, like all you will see is anything to make you laugh, anything about marriage, true love. I have, you know, all those Americans, all those blacklove.com, black love, black American love, black Africa love, Nigerian wedding. Oh, those are the things I follow. And anything motivation as inspiration. You see me follow anything that if I watch it like this, the first thing I'm seeing is they are crying or there's never 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 because i know i'm programming my mind so a lot of you you are programming your mind for negativity what you expose your mind to is very important you are always watching or listening to shows or, or things that brings your your will down that's all you are you, you are listening to that's all you are talking about anything you want marriage oh, because i know that most people who follow me want to get married or have a happy marriage that i know you know i've taken a poll one time like that most of my uh, of my audience of you know you are welcome adipe says thank you for this tip 
most of the people who follow me is either they want to get married you know or they want to have a happy home most of the people that follow me so that's why i most of the time a lot of times i talk about marriage see if you want to have a happy home in fact i know a, a friend of mine who told me that she had to delete instagram for two months straight she was married or she's married she said it's disturbing her the thing she's seeing the thing she's hearing is affecting how she's perceiving marriage and her husband and her life generally is affecting her life if this is you there are some things you need to cut away from in fact some of you you need to go and unfollow some pages on instagram because you don't know it but those pages are reinforcing your negative thoughts they are reinforcing negative experiences for you this is why you have not this is why you are always tired you're always sad you don't even know you just say i just feel down i just feel sad it's because of all these things you are consuming all these terrible negative messages all these tv programs that always end badly they break up they kill the wife they kill the husband you know they can you know you don't you even start dreaming about it that is how powerful the subconscious mind is you start dream, dreaming about it you know that's to tell you that it has you know permeate your subconscious mind and before you know it it's going to keep happening for you physically it's with time very soon what you expose your mind to every day it is violence in Akwaibo, in anambara in enugu in kafanchan in this one that is what you expose your mind to it's going to affect let me tell you your life you will see me like i feel pity for these things but because i don't want to be sucked in into this i don't want to be sucked in into that life i avoid watching all those things because i am very very deliberate and careful about what i allow into my life so adepo duglera says exactly 100 i actually don't follow negative thoughts talks or news especially when you are generalizing it exactly I have always believed it can happen to them, but it is not permitted to come close to me. Bam. Some people will tell you confessing. Let me confess good things. Yes, confession is good, but it starts with your heart. It starts with your mind. That's why you have been confessing positive, but you have been getting negative. Because you are only confessing it by mouth. But what is inside your mind? Because whatever your life is right now is what is inside your heart. Is what is inside your mind. That's what your life is giving to you. In this if you attend this please the school of the mind is starting in september you know please attend the school of the mind send a dm sign up for the school of the mind you will not regret it you know that i teach people in the school of the mind how to use their mind to mine anything they want money marriage you know whatever you want cars houses peace of mind good health you know that's that's what i that's what i teach at the school of the mind let me tell you what the mind does to you let me tell you what the mind does the subconscious mind um stores what your conscious mind sent to it and the subconscious mind is controls 95 percent of your decisions your behaviors and your reality it controls your life you don't have control over it your subconscious mind you know so whatever enters into it whatever you give to it is what it will store and then give it back to you in your life in real life so you are using your mouth to confess i am a child of god i am a some some salvation my life i'm a happy person i am happy every day but your heart your subconscious mind what is there is fight violence sadness depression um what do you call it now um violence heartbreak terrible things all those things if you like confess to, to from today fast in fact to join your confession start from today till the next 20 years you will still continue to have negative reality you will still continue to have negative reality you get what i mean you know that is why you have to feed your mind with positivity yes anxiety i think we do gloria 
You have to feed your mind with positivity. Whatever you want your mind to have, that's what you have to see. Seeing it and hearing it. That is why every day of my life, I listen to messages. I listen to inspirational talks. Anything that will uplift my spirit. Anything that I want to receive or achieve, that is what I expose my mind to every day. Every day I must listen to anything that is inspirational spiritual anything motivational at least for one hour every day of my life i do it every day but some people what you are feeding your mind with is bad news on insta blog bad news on this blog bad news on that blog that's what you feed your mind with every day every day and then you put your emotions on it. You start thinking. You start thinking, oh my God. And God, you are praying to God. That's the saddest part. That's what hurts me the most, especially as Christians. I'll, I'll see people, they pray a lot. They fast a lot. They tithe. They do offering. God, this is your promises. You said I would do it, but they don't get it. Why? Because your mind is giving back to you what you, are give, what you have given it. Your mind is giving back to your life what you are giving to it. So, when I was praying to get married, I was not amongst, ah, be careful, oh, men will stay in your white. Never. You never see me in, in a place like that. Ha, ah, men are terrible people, oh. You won't see me there. You won't see me where people are mocking men, people are bashing men, people are bashing marriage. Marriage is overrated. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, shift. It's not by force. You will never see me there. Because that goes against what I am praying for. So, in case you are wondering why the things that you want in your life is not happening, this is one of the reasons why. What you feed your mind with, what you hear, Every day is bad news. Ah, marriage is a terrible thing. No. Hey, ah, uh, we, uh, women are not your nest of kin. No. Ah, mm, the uh, DNA something something. No, kini kong kini kong kini kong. Da 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 da. All those things. You know, that's what you are hearing every day. You don't know when you start thinking about it. Huh? You have to be careful. Oh. You cannot tell a woman everything you have. Oh. You cannot show a woman everything you have. Oh. You cannot say hey, a man. Oh. You cannot show a ah, man. Okay, if he knows that you have money. If these are your thoughts. So that's the, if, even if you have a man, that's the type of man you have. The man will come and scam you. Because your thoughts are prayers. Your thoughts, they are prayers. So, as you are thinking bad, that's what you are, you are telling God subconsciously. That's what you are telling God subconsciously. That's what your mind is telling you subconsciously. You know, telling God rather. Your mind is telling God subconsciously and that is what will happen to you. And you'll be wondering, I have done everything right. I am a good girl. I am a good man. I have done this. I am doing this. But yet, I keep, I keep attracting pain. You know? Or even money. It's not just marriage. Even money. Some people, the reason why you don't have a good job or you don't have great cl um, clients or customers, you don't have enough money, is because of your mind, what you are always thinking. Ha. Huh. Who will, who will sign off? You are a coach. Oh. Let's say I want to think, ha, ah, therapy, 300,000. Who will pay it? <laughs> in this Tinubu, in this Tinubu government, do you know how much fuel with Abeg Abeg? Let me just, let me be charging my 10,000. You will not go past that. You will not go past that. You, if you like, let somebody, if you like, create one cause that is more than that because your mind is a 10,000 naira mind. That's why some people are where they are. You want to start earning millions, but your mind is a thousand mind. You will not go past. You know, you will not. You will do everything, but you will not be able to move past it. Your mind cannot absorb it. Your mind cannot. It cannot absorb it that somebody will pay me one million naira. Ha! No, you know, you will be struggling. You know, ha! One million k. Who will pay me? What kind of cost would I create that they will not pay me one million? 
therapy, coaching. People don't like, is it food? Mm. Mm. If you know what's happening in this country, mm. I beg go. Let me just stay my own JJ. And then you are wondering, you know, other people are progressing. Me, I'm not going forward. This is why. You have a small mind. A very small mind. And if you don't expand it and make it big, you will never live a big life. You will see, you know, those people that they see anybody enjoying or doing anything, they always say lie. Now, they're tifa. Now, lie. For where you won't get the money. You know, why? Because you don't, because you yourself, you have not been able to achieve it. So, where is he getting the money from? Now, lie. Now, lie. Now, fake. All this Instagram. Now, believe them. Now, lie. I know that there are some people who lie. But there are some there's there are some other people too who are making it who are legitimately making money but you cannot believe it because you have a small mind because where you are coming from it is difficult to be happy it is difficult to be ma um happily married it is difficult to make money you have to stress you have is your mindset is your limiting belief you believe that to make money, you have to stretch, stretch, hard work. You have to, you know, go is like everybody that makes money. That's their story. It's not true. It's your mind. You need to work on your mind or else your life will not change. If you want to change your life, change your mind. If you want new things to start happening in your life, first of all, change your mind. And how do you change your mind? Positivity. Reinforce it. I still told one client last week or so. Make sure you are always thinking positive. Make sure, and it's not easy to think positive, I know. Because if you are not used to it, it's a lot. It's a big deal. <laughs> so how do you make sure everything around you is tailored to what you want to see? TV shows you watch. The things you listen to every day. The things you see. On social media make sure they are the things you want to see in your life if you if you are praying for marriage follow people that are showing us that they are happily married that's what you should follow I have a lot of them on my page um, um love sheep or what's ah sugar I've forgotten all those people's names so, if you want children follow babies pregnancies page you understand Follow the pages of people that are talking about pregnancy. You understand? People that are having kids. People that, you know, um, they are, you know, giving birth, delivery. Follow those pages. You are, you are telling your subconscious mind something. You are praying to God by doing that. Because you are programming your mind and saying, God, this is what I want. This is what I want to happen to me. Follow those pages. You want to marry. Follow happy, happily married people. Not the one that will come and say, be careful, oh, I'm struggling, no, oh, all this life. It's not me. It doesn't mean that those things don't happen. Those are realities of life. I get it. You know, and we, there's nothing we can do about it. It will always happen. You know, but if the page you follow celebrates only negative stories, <laughs> you will soon send them your own negative story very soon. That's the only thing. That page or the pages you follow. Is either accident today, tomorrow this outbreak, yeah, there, there is DNA problem, the other day there is coming. That's all the things you are watching and reading. Very soon, you will soon join them. Very soon. You know, you are always around people that be like, it's hard, it's, it's difficult, this country. I'm not saying you should not be realistic because that's what people say. So, Lara, are you saying we should lie? Because, you know, from what is happening, are you saying we should be telling ourselves lie? Of course not. You shouldn't lie. But, you know, you should stay around what you want to see. Stay around what you want to see. Reinforce what you want to see. Physically, even physically. Make sure where you are, all the places you go to, the conversations you are having, I know this is hard because you know your friends your family members is difficult they are going through pain so it's pain they are you are they always tell, talking i had to tell one of my clients she was like ha hey coach Lara, this thing that you are saying you know hey that uh, amongst all my friends you know 
that are married. I'm the only one that my marriage is still okay a little. I'm the only one that everybody else, they have a bad marriage. And I'm the one they all complain and talk to. I said, hmm. in fact, she even confessed that the um, it has started affecting how she sees her husband. Because when your friend is saying, you know, or the friends, your friend's husband that you know, that you know is a trustworthy person, is a good person, is a blah, 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 and then he starts cheating. And they, there's no way you will start thinking, hey, yes, Hmm, this is my own like this you know she even said that her husband has begun, begun begun to notice that something is wrong you have started behaving somehow you know and it's because of all this you don't know it you will not know that that's what you are doing but that's what you are doing because this is what you hear all the time so she was asking me so coach Lara, are you saying they are my friends they are my very good friends we grew up together we have a close-knit um, association are you saying that i should not talk to them anymore no why not talk to them but make sure you reduce the time where all you hear or all they tell you is uh, my husband is beating me my husband is cheating he doesn't come home he's just a blah 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 reduce it if you receive their call every day they call you every day start putting their your you know not taking their calls every day anymore or when they take their call you know they talk to you you know try and change the subject or oh i need to go because if you don't pro you think that ah they are my friends i have to be there for them yes you are not a therapist i am a therapist i listen to bad news every day but it doesn't after you have told me like this i help you i encourage you I don't even remember it. I don't, I don't, not like I don't remember it, but I don't dwell on it, mix it with my emotions. I start saying, say, <laughs> somebody told me today, she just became a life coach. She said, it's so funny. She said that, ah, Lara, are you doing your work? That somebody just told her about a problem. Like, and then she started crying. I said, life coach. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe this. She said, I cannot take it all. Are you doing it? That she just she started crying you know me i've done this for years this is my 11th year of this job so i'm used to it i don't internalize it i don't you know um um make it like ha he who no so it's and the reason why i'm like that is because i am a therapist i am trained for that i have learned emotional detachment you know, you, you have not learnt it. You are not a therapist. You have not gone through such training. And then they keep dumping everything on you every day. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. You are human. Before you know it, you start, you know, embodying it. You start thinking of it. And then before you know it, you start living it. You start living it. You don't want that for your life. So... Your life and your friends will not be the same. Don't do that. There are times that sometimes I cut off, you know, for a while. I disappear from my friends because I need a, a long time to, you know, get my mind in order. They all know me. Be Lara, she have disappeared again. You know, and then I reappear when I'm good. You have to be able to learn this or else you will be a part of the crowd. Your friend's life will begin to reflect, reflect in your life. That is a lack of identity. You don't want to do that to yourself. You are a different person. God, you came to this world alone. Alone. So, you did not, they did not give birth to you and your friend or friends at the same time. So, you are not supposed to be experiencing what they are experiencing. No. If you know what to do. Which is what I am about to teach you at the School of the Mind. You have to discipline your mind. Please. School of the Mind is starting in September, early September. Let me even get the date. And the early bed offer is closing. Um, the early bed offer. Uh, 
yes yeah, september 4th to october 22nd yeah that's when school of the mind is and it's online it's online you know so all my courses are online not all a lot of them are online so please join the school of the mind um early bed of 300,000 naira is closing on august 14th that's next week monday so um the real price which is 350,000 naira will close by the end of august so do yourself a favor and sign up for the school of the mind so that your life can change if you want your life to change your mind needs to change if you want your life to change your mind needs to change you know so i've, I've spoken about um negative thoughts positive thoughts very important that's one aspect another aspect for you or another thing or another tool that you need in order to use your mind to attract your greatest desire is a burning desire you have to have a burning desire not like this not whatever happens happens no what do you want how bad do you want it burning if your desire is not burning it won't happen for you if you have a plan b it won't happen for you in case this one does not work i'll fall back on this one you have already killed it it doesn't work that way you know which is what a lot of people cannot do ha like somebody told me like i cannot hope again i'm in my 40s i cannot you know say that marriage has to happen like my ma marriage will happen what if it doesn't it's not going to happen for you with that mindset or it may not happen for you with that mindset i beg i beg i don't want to put my mind if a man comes he comes if not you know a lot of times you are talking like that out of fear out of you know um despair you have lost hope you have tried they have broken your heart or you have waited and waited and waited nobody has come you know so you are just th thrown away you know hope because of that oh let me concentrate on other things mind is not the ultimate of course i know even me that i'm married i know why is not the ultimate there are other things in life that are part of your life and assign following your purpose discovering your purpose and working in your assignment is one of if not the ultimate thing in this life or the ultimate thing in this life is higher than being married but if you want to be married admit it stop going around the corners stop coming on social media and forming I beg, I beg, I'm not, men are, men are not worth it. Ah, but that's what you want, though. You want a man. But you're speaking against what you want. You know, you are, you pray for it in your house, in the corner of your, of your mind. Every morning, you are joining NLP. You are joining um, NSPPD every morning. But your behavior is saying, or your mindset is saying something else, something different then your desire is not burning. If you have a burning desire, it's going to happen. When I wanted to get married, I did not have any other thoughts. I was doing well. I was living okay. I was doing other things. But this is that marriage. It never left my face. I was preparing for it. I was already choosing my wedding dresses. I was already, you know, the type of house I want to live. I already started visualizing it with my husband what we will be doing together as a couple when we get married even before i met anybody those are the things i put my mind on those are the things i concentrated on but a lot of people mm -mm. you know you want something no but you are thinking rubbish no don't do that or you want something you know but you don't don't let this be you please if you need help to strengthen your mind attend the school of mind 
if you need help to strengthen your mind you know that lara your mind is 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 stressing you your mind is weak it's not as strong as this thing that i'm describing you know you want something so bad but you don't have hope your mind is filled with pain it's filled with negativity it's filled with stress it's filled with negative thoughts it's filled with doubt you know lara i need help sign up for the school of mind i would help you you will see how you can create the life you want with the help of god i created the life i want today the life i'm living today with god's help I created it. You can do the same. You know, there will always be trouble in the land. That's how it is. There will always be hardship. There will always be men that are breaking women's hearts. There will always be women that are cheating men. But which type of men do you want? Which type of woman do you want? What type of life do you want? You have to create it against all odds and there's a mindset that you have to have because the people who live the life they want they are not plenty they are probably among the five percent of these of the people in this world they are not much why because the a good life does not come by chance or by accident you have to work for it and the working starts here first before the manifestation physically and a lot of people are not ready to do the work a lot of people are not ready to invest in doing the work that's another thing i have people in my dm there is expensive okay have you tried of install instrumental payment have you tried to save i know somebody who says she has been following me since 2021 or 2020 but she couldn't afford my therapy services and i kept increasing it you know, every time she checks, it has increased again. She said she started saving from 20, early 2021, you know, and it was this 2023 that she was able to afford the healing school. That is somebody that is interested. That's somebody that is really um, determined. You know, I me, mean, I don't used to, you know, when people tell me I don't have money, it's too expensive, you don't want it bad. I don't concentrate on people like that. Because if they say that now you need, you have, um, if you have um, 1 million, bring 1 million, you know, um, and then bring 1 million the next one week, and then you get 5 million in 3 months or 6 months, you will find it. You know, so I don't believe, I don't, you know, I just feel that this, you're not really, really interested. You're not really interested. You know, you are not investing in your in your life. You just want to be coasting and be doing God will God will sort me out. So God will sort me out. Okay. Truly God will sort you out. But you have to be willing first. Maybe there's a saying that says help on heaven helps those who help themselves. You have to be willing first before heaven will now help you. You have to help yourself small. Like even show heaven that I'm ready, I'm willing. You know, before you can now, because before heaven will help you. But a lot of people, you know, ah, this thing, I beg, I beg, I beg. So I'm not, you know, if you want to truly, truly change your life, you want a new life, you want, maybe the, you are tired of the type of men that you are dating. Where is that from? Is your mind because you are the one attracting them so there's something and you are attracting them and then you are choosing them when you change your mind that will change that is my story that's what happened to me apart from men money wise I was so broke before as a church rat I was is this thing I was still doing this same thing that's what I've been doing for the past 11 years you know because I wasn't really I was like, ah, who will pay for therapy? Who will do this one? Who? Will... But the moment I mind, I expanded my mind that uh, why not? If you can give them value, Lara, 
you are giving people value. When you give people value, money follows value. My life changed. I started getting clients from all over the world. So, this is what I want to help you with. Good health. 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 Your mindset. You require your mind, a good mindset to have good health. If you have a terminal condition, you've been on drugs forever. Yes, I get it. Your mind. Google. Go on Google and say, and say um, show me people that have used their minds to, con to, to heal cancer. You'll see it's there. Your mindset, your mind is powerful. If you allow nonsense to enter your mind, nonsense will be, your life will be nonsense. That's all. It's, it's as simple as it is. So you have to keep laboring to expand your mind, to renew your mind, like the Bible says. Renew your mind every time. Any course that you see on mind, school of the mind will emotional anything that you know that will help your mind you have to please pay money for it even till now i'm still doing it me anything any program you see personal development that will help your mind that will help your mindset that will help you expand your mind because anytime you're investing in your mind you're investing in your life you know so guys please if you want to join me and say, Lara, I'm tired. I need help in creating a new life or the type of life I want. Send me a DM. Attend the School of the Mind. It's starting from September 4th to October 22nd. It's seven weeks. You know, um, that's the group class. And you can also do the private class. You know, if it's just me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, that's also available. Send me a DM. Or if you want to go to my website, click the link in the bio www.larakudaisinternational.com go there and you will see how you know to pay or how to sign up but the group class is starting on september 4th you know to october 22nd 2022 so guys this is me telling you help yourself you know Renew your mind, expand your mind, invest in your mind so that your life will change, so that your results will change, so that your reality will change. So, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Coming back, ah, I think I have a session tomorrow by this time. Do I? Yes, I do. But I'll try to see if I can come back, if I can come live tomorrow, 9 p.m. I have a session at 8, 6, 7, 8 p.m. So, but I'll try to, to come live if I can, if I'm not too tired by 9 p.m. So, but if you want to, uh, you know, inquire about the school of the mind, the healing school, the school of identity, or you want to book a virtual or physical session with me, just enter the DM and ask me. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.